greenteaguru.co.uk offers green tea, white tea, black tea, oolong tea, and we absolutely love pu'er tea with offerings of Misty Peaks, Yunnan Sourcing, Mung Hai, and Sha Guan. We regularly visit Hong Kong and Guangdong, sourcing out very interesting and special cakes for your tea table. Green Tea Guru, based in UK with worldwide delivery. Hello everybody, Ollie from greenteaguru.co.uk. Thank you very much for stopping by. Um, we are battling hard to get out um, a load of teas that we still haven't got on the website yet, ready for you guys for the beginning of December when uh, everyone starts buying Christmas pure tea. So expect more videos coming soon. I generally keep away from things that are stuffed with pu'er tea, um, but this little cutie took my eye. What we're looking at here is the 2016 pu'er stuffed mini limes. So what we're looking at here is um, a 2016 lime, which has been stuffed with um, four year aged Gong Ting grade ripe pu'er from Ling Kang County. And this one took me by surprise. I mean, you know, um, the aroma is, is, is really fresh. These age quite well, uh, just like the, the, ta the stuffed tangerines. They're quite sought after when they sort of hit four years of age and older. So I'm looking forward to how these will be tasting in a few years time. They're not that pricey. I'm charging about £1.35 for each of these. Um, it's 10 grams total, 11 grams total, um, so you can get two sessions out of it pretty easy. So £1.35, I'm doing deals for 10 or 20. I'm not gonna put half in this little guy one here because it's so small. So I'm gonna put in a third, and if you want the extra uh, citrusy flavours, throw, make sure to throw in some of this uh, beautiful uh, lime in there as well. So that's what we're going to do right now. There we go, little pieces. So on its own, um, you know, this mini lime has only been stuffed for one year. There won't be too much uh, transference of lime zesty flavour onto the pu'er. So really, you want to put in. Um, a bit of the um, a bit of the shell as well to add that flavour. First wash. You get that ripe aroma as well, of course, but coupled with that lovely sort of lime zestiness, it just goes really well. Um, so being four years old, um, the ripe pu'er in this. Um, had a lovely sort of uh, deep aroma. For a Gong Ting, I like that because Gong Ting is normally kind of um, bright sort of aroma and flavour. It just works really well. So it's quite light, it's not um, um, a brash, deep, coarse leaf grade, the Gong Ting, of course. Um, smooth, fairly smooth. And I don't really, I can't really describe how the line works with the right, but it does couple up very well. Almost as if it's, um, you know, a, little, a touch of lemon juice to the, to the broth, if you like. It sounds contradictory, but it really does work. I don't know why people don't use coarser leaf with uh, with these uh, stuffed varieties. Maybe they just don't really fit. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, can you imagine what maybe a, an eight, a Mung Hai 8592 might taste like with some of this peel? Maybe one could try it out and give it a go and see what, <laughs> see what they think and, and, and share it. That'd be, that'd be good information. Because I can imagine that could work all right. could kill for that aroma. It's not in your face, it's too sharp. It's had one year's worth of age, these, these limes. Um, so there's a little bit of bitterness there left on the palate, not astringency, just a nice bitterness, as if you'd just munched into a lime or something and a, a minute or so after you've got that, uh, that sharpness left on the palate, which is actually quite nice. Bit deeper, 
Um, the lime is coming through a little bit more now. There's a lot of synergy going on here. It's, um, it, it's all coming together. You've got that bitterness that's left on the palate afterwards. Um, the aroma is hitting you the whole time because it's, it's just sat here in front of you and it's a beautiful smell. The ripe is, is, is pretty smooth actually. You know, four years of age, um, sitting in Kuming, uh, it's, it's doing good. I was expecting the Gong Ting to be a little bit more sort of bright flavoured, but um, you know, it's it's um, it's subtle, it's smooth, and that citrus note all together, great. Mm. So you've got that bitterness of the um, of the of the of the citrus um, on your palate, but keeping the water in your mouth for a little bit. You've got that sort of, apart from the bitterness, you've got that sort of, um, uh, those lime flavours. And it's kind of a, it's not like biting into a fresh lime at all. It's, um, it's deeper than that. And I reckon that two or three years time, um, the, the transference of the pua with the lime, it's all gonna come together um, in a bigger way, get smoother. I think that deepness of the lime will more than likely enhance over the next few years. The lime is a lot more pliable when it's wet. Don't bite it. <laughs> it's all right. Third infusion, the aroma is still beautiful. I don't know when that's gonna tail off. Broth a bit darker. Still very smooth. Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's a good tea, it's a good tea, you know. It's interesting because if they used a gong ting that was one or two years old, the tea would be kind of bright and fresh. Um, I really like that the fact it's four years old, it's smoothened out, the tea itself is smoothened out, coupled with the, the slight bitterness and the, the deep lime flavor, it just comes together quite well. That deep lime flavor comes through a little bit more now, poking <coughs> up a bit. Sorry about the lighting folks, the sun doesn't know what it's doing, it's popping in, popping out. Um, I actually had a really good chat with uh, Drim uh, via email, he watches the, um, he watches the shows, uh, he saw I was having a palaver with the lighting a few shows ago. He's given me some real good tips on the lighting, so in the new year um, I should be um, looking brighter and cheerier and more smiley and more pretty for you guys. <laughs> Infusion 4. Um, I left that to steep for quite a while, over 10 seconds. Um, you know, you can push this tea out and it doesn't really, um, it does, it, it's not a sacrifice on flavour at all. If anything, um, the lime's coming up a little bit more, more bitterness, um, a more deep sort of lime flavour. And if that's what you want, push it out. Still lovely and smooth. So, guys. That's the 2016 Stuffed Mini Lime from Green Tea Guru. Go and check it out. Thank you very much for stopping by. Keep it guru and keep on cupping. Thank you.